This is Mark Carrington from markcarrington.com. In this short video I'm going to go through the steps required in WordPress to add a banner ad from the Internet Profits Back Office to a sidebar bar on your blog post. I'm going to start off with, um, this has been done for Sandra Westerdahl, I'm going to start off with her page. Currently this is what her blog page looks like and what she wants to do is to get banner ad into this area over here. Currently she's had success in getting a banner ad into this area over here. So this ad, what we want to do is I'm going to put a ring around it. I want to get this ad into this place up here. This area is called a sidebar and these are the posts. This is a post. How can I tell it's a post? Because it's got a category on it. So it's a post and not a page. Now the vehicle that I'm going to use to do that is I'm going to use my own blog post. I have a, um, a dormant blog page which is um, showing in front of you. This is the home page which is this is actually a page. And you can see here that the sidebar is currently empty and I'm using the same theme. So this is the Astra theme I've just set it up to to work out to be the same. So the process steps that we're going to go through are we need to identify, need to get hold a copy of this image and save that on our computer. That image, we need to choose the size of that image so that it'll fit into this space over here. We need to get the link that from the back office that if when we click this, so I'm actually going to click it and we'll see what happens. You'll see there's a link popping up here. It takes a little while and this is the page that we want the traffic to go to. So this is the link that we want to get and what the important part of this link is, is I can see that there is an affiliate ID in here. So Sandra has identified the link correctly, but I'm going to go through all those steps to show you how to get that image, how to put it on your computer, how to upload it, how to create the sidebar, and then how to put the, the, the image into that sidebar and put the link on it. So those are the steps that we're going to go through. So the first step is I'm going to go into the Internet Profits back office. I'm going to go to Internet Profits. I've already logged into this, so that's why I didn't ask for a login. And the to find the banner ads is under Resources. So here the banners are, and this is the banner that we want to see is banners for your affiliate marketers playbook. So I'm going to scroll down and I will find them. So we know which one we're looking for because we've already seen it. So we're looking for for that one. So we'll just keep scrolling down until we find that one. And we want to find one size. So here they are. So these are the different sizes. So we've got 300 by 600. So 300 by 600 will fit quite nicely a long way down here. Or we could use one of the smaller ones, three, sort of 300 by 250. 300 is the width of that banner. If we want to put these anywhere up at the top, and there's a much smaller one, 320 by 100. So we're going to pick one of these. I'm going to pick this one here. So it's different to now there's a shortcut way. We can actually download all of these banners into just by pressing this button and it'll pull them down. But there's a shortcut way is we'll just we'll sit here, we're going to right click on this banner and we'll just say save image as and I've created a folder on my desktop. Which created a folder on my desktop which is called new folder and you can see it's now going to post this thing in there so it's affiliate marketing playbook banners 01 300 by 600 so that is the one we want to we want to to get to I'll pull it up and say save and 
we can see there is the affiliate marketing playbook banner. I've also created a text file called links for the blog because I'm going to need the link and that's easy enough to do. We just go new text document and it'll create the text document but I've created one there it's blank and ready for action. So we now got our image so the next step is to go and find the link. So the link we need to go to the back office press the black office we need to open the affiliate dashboard there's a two-step process here we're going to the link generator so the link that we want is this one here affiliate marketers playbook offer easy enough to check because if I if I just click on this what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it with the right button I am going to say open link in new tab and it'll open up in the next window and we'll see that that is the same one that your the, the, the post was going to so we know that that is the correct link but what we want to make sure is is that we that we actually capture we can use this tracking link here you see this one here it's got these letters M A C A R that is my affiliate identi identifier but what we what we've been taught to do is to go and create an ad specifically for it so that we can track very specifically that ad so we go we just scroll down the page here and we under this box here called my ads we're going to create an ad so I'm going to create a new ad it says name no spaces keep it short uh, that's really important so what what we're going to call that we'll just call it side banner AMP is that short enough so those are the words we want maybe what we'll do is we'll just do S B AMP and quite good to have a number and maybe what I'll do with this I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to stick it in this little document control V so we I'm going to put it in there and so we know that this is side banner AMP so whatever you need to describe what it is the sizes you've used whatever you want to use you capture it you can capture it in the document like that so we've we've done that so we've so we we're going to call a side banner AMP and I'm going to put the the size in here as well so that I know this is the 300 by 600 the referral partner is me make sure you've got your right name in here don't have to worry about this and then we're just going to save that so we've now created that we should see it somewhere down here SBAMP side banner AMP and then we're going to say who's driving the traffic we're going to generate the link so we're going to go down to the bottom this is who's driving the traffic what are you driving the traffic to as it happens this is the first one on the list affiliate marketers playbook offer which ad are you going to use and we're going to then choose that one that I've just created which I called side banner AMP 300 by 600 Bang, and we generate the link and there's the link so we're just going to copy that link copy that link address and we're going to go back to that little document we created and post it in there I just copied and pasted it in there so the way to do that you just paste and it'll paste it I'm gonna to have to do that again because I have put it over the top of what I had done paste so those are the, that that's the link that we now need and if we if we, if we want to be really careful the smart thing to do is to just go and check it so I'm going to go back up here I'm going to paste it and go and we should see we wouldn't really notice we see it's going through all the process there and we've got my affiliate secret AMP bank 
um, book affiliate and we'll, we'll remember that other number started with six something mine so we the number has changed so we're going to the same page so we know the page is working now this is a good discipline just to keep track to make sure that you're doing the right thing so we are now finished over here we've got our link and we've got our image sitting in that folder so our links in here and there's the image so we're, we're ready for action so the next action step is we want to go to our blog post and log into it so we're going to go through to that i'm going to type in mine you'll see here is my login id my login page so so we're logging into wordpress now you'll recognize the wordpress stuff Mine is already pre-populating with passwords. It takes a little while to, to load in. And we're, we're, we need to work on the theme. So the themes are under appearance. And just to confirm, I'm going to press appearance themes. So confirming that the, this is the theme I normally use Pro Styler, but this one here I've 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 uploaded it and made activated it. So this is the one working, and we're going to customize it. And we're, many ways to get to it. We can customize it by pressing this button here. We can press this button on the left one here. But what we're really interested in is widgets. So I've pressed widgets. And it'll be, bring up a page that looks like this. So it has on the left hand side, we have the available widgets that are all the way over here. It has the areas that we can put them in. So I can put them into the main sidebar or to the header or to the footer. So where is it? This is the sidebar. This is the header. And this is the footer down at the bottom of the page. So what I'm interested in doing is I want to put the widget that I want into the main sidebar, which is the bar on the right hand side. Now, which widget do I want to use? Because I'm putting an image in, I want to put an image, this image one. So I just pick it up and drag it across to where I want it. I want it above the search box. So you'll see where it is, main sidebar search category so now it's going to pop in here up above the search bar which is where i want it to go and we'll see that it's got a um, it's got an option to add an image and we can put a title on it i'm going to, i'm not going to put a title on it but we're going to do add image and what add image does is it takes us to the to the media library and you see my good looking face over here we're going to go to up files and he says drop files anywhere to upload or to select so what i'll do is, is i'll go and grab that folder that i had created here's the folder and i'm just going to pick this up and drop it hopefully it will work the word come out i can just see the word drop files it's uploading the file. Now there are a few things that you can put a caption. A caption will then come in underneath the image. You can put a description. The, the next thing it will do is it asks you for the custom URL and it asks you what the size is going to be. Well, we'll go, I'll do those in the sequence. So the custom URL. So this is where it's going to go when you press the so here I'm going to, I've, um, I've gone, I've opened up my, my little file that had this link in it. I've double clicked the whole link. I am going to copy it. I can minimize that and I'm going to go and stick that in here. And we go paste and we'll see the whole image is in there. The whole link is in there and I'm going to increase this to full size. And I'm just going to say add to widget and bang. There we go. We can see it is now in there. 
and then all I've got to do is so we can see the link is there let's save it and what we should find and there are two ways of going to go and find it we can either just go to press this visit site button up here but I've got the page open already so if I just tell it to reload we should magically see that widget emerging on the right hand side there it is and then good discipline we can click it or test it so we can see the images popped up here and normally what I will do is, is I will go and open it in a new tab but this may actually just open the image so what we can actually just click the tab and see where it takes us so I'm just watching the box up here the box over here will tell me if it's going to change and I watch the box down here it says waiting for and there it comes and we can see there's my affiliate ID so I know that it is now working so that is all we need to do now clearly the if we go back to where I was on the widgets if we want to put a an ad in the header for example so if we want to put an ad up here this is the header area we want to pick an ad that's appropriate size for that so these are our typical so they're going to be um, wider and narrower so 728 by 90 is a typical size we can then all we're going to do is we're going to put an image into the header section if there is a header created so we're just going to pick up that image and drag it down to here so then just the summary then is to the steps that I use to do that is, is that we pressed appearance I pressed widgets came out with this table with all the available widgets I picked the widget type that I wanted dragged it across to the area I wanted it put it into the place that I wanted now we can move these up and down and then I uploaded the image and I created the link I, I put the link that I'd created into that upload in image dialog so I hope that helps in getting a banner ad into the sidebar. Thanks.